Well, the clock is ticking. Linda emailed me asking for my help immediately to send a wake-up call to Patsy before she becomes homeless. Patsy, I, I get that it's hard to wrap your head around this. You just said maybe he's not an engineer. You haven't fully grasped this yet. There is no he. They stole that picture off of the internet. This man right here that you're looking at did nothing wrong. This man is not a scammer here. This man's a victim. We're showing the photo so he knows these images are being used as part of a scam. So, who is John Robert Crush? What Patsy knows is that his date of birth was December 22nd, and it would be 1947 because she says he's 69 years old. She thinks that he's born in the U.S. or France, that his dad died and moved to Paris with an uncle when he was 12. We did a U.S. background check. There are 21 people that came up named John Crush. There was one actually named John Robert Crush. However, he died in 1929. <laughs> In Indiana, date of birth, 1858. Not him. So we did a worldwide check. We checked the round the globe. There were multiple results for John Crush, not from this century. The conclusion, John Robert Crush does not exist anywhere on planet Earth. Not in the United States, not in Europe, not in Germany, not in Russia, not in Africa, not in Cairo. The only John Robert Crush we found, we dug until we got his death certificate. <laughs> and here it is, full right. name, John Robert Crush. Date of death, February 2nd, 1929. Date of birth, November 10, 1858. Location, Indiana. We did our homework. This guy is a fiction. He does not exist. Okay. I am worried that you're going to leave here and somehow, some way, these guys are good. And they're going to say, well, you know, I've been under a death threat over here, so I've had to use a different name and I didn't want to tell you in case they were intercepting our emails or something, my name is really Bob Jenkins <laughs> or something. I don't want you to fall victim to this person. What do I have to do to know that you believe me here? I believe you 100%, Dr. Phil. Just what you, sh the fact that there was no uh, ISIS bombing, the fact that there is no engineering uh, department at the University of Paris. It's just, it all just makes perfect sense that he is a fraud. He is a scammer. And let me tell you, I take no pleasure. I, I take no pleasure in telling you this. <laughs> I would love for you to meet someone that you could bond with and share with and love. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I'm talking to you when it's 58 or 60 or $75,000 instead of $250,000. I don't want you to lose all of your money and then say, Hell, I've got to work till I drop dead just to, <laughs> just to keep a roof over my head. She's not meddling in your life. She's trying to save your life here.